Hi guys, this is Nikash here. As I promised, I have started making the lead code solutions and other interview preparation videos again. And before digging into today's lead code problems, I just want to remind you that I have started a page by name Techitux. I have started a Facebook and Instagram page by name Techitux. So please do like and follow this page. And if you want to connect with me, you can easily connect by sending just a message here. So you can send me a message or email as well. I'm pretty responsive here and all my lead code solution videos or, in or interview preparation videos will be going to this page now, right? So, but yeah, do like and follow this page so that you get uh, regular updates regarding all the interview preparation videos. And as I said, if you want to connect with me and if you need help with preparing your, for your interviews, do ping me via this page and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. So yeah, let's uh, dig into today's problem. So the today we'll be going through an easy level problem. So it's a frequently asked in Facebook interviews. So if you can see here, it's asked in Facebook, Amazon and Karat. Okay. So yeah, the problem statement is something like this. Given an array of meeting time intervals where intervals i is equal to start time and an end time. Determine if a person could attend all meetings. Right. So there are a couple of examples which we can go over and see how we can solve this. And what's the intuition behind our solution? Right. So let's go over the examples and see what exactly the problem is. So if you can see here, we have been given three intervals, 0, 30, 5, 10 and 15, 20. Okay. So let's say the, okay, let's uh, draw this into a pictorial representation. So what I can do is, so this one, let me draw a graph. So let's say this is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and do we have 30? Yeah. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Okay. So if you mark these uh, meetings, right? So the first meeting start time is 0 and end time is 30. So the first meeting starts from here to here. So basically, the room is occupied for the start time 0 and it goes for 30 minutes. Okay. The second meeting starts from 5 and goes till 10. And the third meeting starts from 15 and goes till 20. Right? So if you can see if the meeting one is, so let's say you are an engineer who goes to the meeting one, right? And then you're starting from zero and you're coming out only after 30 minutes, but other two meetings have already been started, which you will not be able to attend. So in this case, our returns would be false, right? So let's go, go over the second example. So yeah, the first interval is 7 comma 10, right? So 7 will start somewhere here and he'll go till here. So this is 7 and this is 10, right? And the second is 2 comma 4. So he'll start here and here. So basically he'll start at 2 and end at 4 and then he'll come out of the meeting after 3 minutes. He'll go and go into the second meeting. So in this case, he's able to attend both the meetings. So how do you come up with a solution for this? So if you can see here, so first we marked the second meeting and then we came back and marked the first meeting. So what do you get to know by this? So if you are an engineer, you'll always attend the meeting which is first, let's say at nine o'clock. Then you'll attend the meeting second, which is at seven o'clock, right? So basically, even if the given input is not sorted, the first thing what you need to do is sort, right? Sort where? Start back. Second, so always, how do you determine if you're able to attend the next meeting? If your current meeting ends before the start of the second meeting. So basically, start, sorry, end of i minus one, if it is less than start of i, right? So in this case, you are able to go ahead and attend the next meeting, which is i meeting. So yeah, ever if you encountered a, a scenario where you're not able to satisfy this condition, you come out of the loop and say that, yeah, you're not able to attend all the meetings. So this is a quick solution. And let me go ahead and write the code for this. So if you have any comments or concerns, do let me know on the comment section below, or you can ping me via take it text page as well. Yeah, let's go and write the code now. So yeah, that's how you solve the problem or how you come up with the solution for that. So. So I'll be putting a next video link in the description below where I'll be coding the solution for this problem, H and C++, and it'll be a pretty quick solution for this. So please do watch that as well. And let me know if you have any concerns or questions.
Yep. As I always say, keep learning every day. Thank you. Bye-bye.